Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from the Bespoke Post series. And we have a new product in, as you can see. Uh, Luft Lighter 1. And uh, there's kind of a picture there. And they didn't send it in the Bespoke Post box this time, I'm guessing, because it's so long. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this out of the sleeve here and get it unpackaged. And we'll kind of take a look at it and see what we've got. All right, guys, so, well, we got the unit, and then we got lots of paperwork. So uh, let's kind of go through it. First thing I've got in my hand, uh, Luft, and it says uh, creating fire ever since 2004. Uh, just a little sticker, it looks like. So if you want to, uh, if you like doing the car stickers or putting it on a notebook or something, whatever. Uh, but there you go there. Um, we'll kind of do the lightweight stuff first. Uh, here we go. Attention. Uh, it says, uh, light it up, hit the spot, pull back a bit. Um, uh, hmm. Uh, anyhow, uh, you're going to set up the fuel and stuff. Well, we'll get into it, but this gives you some basic instructions on how to deal with that. Uh, here we have warning instructions, what they're talking about here. And that came wrapped around the cylinder. And then we've got uh, two other pieces here. Luft here, this looks like um, possibly their, uh, yeah, look well here. We've got the thing for technical specifications and stuff. Uh, we've got, well, and then their other products. So this is a product catalog essentially. And uh, obviously, like I said, creating fire. So this does obviously have something to do with um acting kind of like a lighter uh sort of it, and then we've got the operator's manual and it's in oh wow like a dozen different languages um we're not going to go into all of that but uh, it looks like the actual regular instructions and everything in any single language is only a few pages long um yeah we've got from what page page three to page eight. So we've got five pages roughly. Uh, so it gives you some basic instructions. It looks like uh, the warranty information. Uh, we've also got, uh, well, it talks about electrical safety. Obviously we've got a cord and things. Uh, it's electronically operated. They talk about, there we go, the operation, the assembly. Uh, I mean, and it is does come pre-assembled so I don't know exactly um, they just want to make sure that everything's put together correctly I guess want you to kind of check that it's pretty pretty basic um, now just so you know this is from the ignition kit uh, so uh, obviously you would have seen that in the description but what this is essentially is it is a um, basically a grill lighter or even a uh, uh, like a fire starter for maybe a uh, uh, it could be for a campfire or something like that if you had it within reach of uh, some kind of electrical cable uh, but as uh, as this goes and as I understand it uh, this is essentially a lighter so and it's it's a kind of a proofer in a sense as well when it comes to things like uh, like something like your charcoal briquettes um, or if you're using you know natural charcoal uh, sometimes that stuff can be a little bit of a pain to get started uh, using of course you can use a bunch of lighter fluid and things like that sometimes it doesn't uh, get ignited very easily um, there are a few different ways to do that they have some of those things where it's like a, a can um, and you start it in there and then once it gets lit up and everything and starts getting to where it needs to be you take the can and dump it into your into your grill or wherever you're putting it uh, this is another way of getting it going um, it uh, it acts well it it doesn't act like anything common because you're not setting a direct flame on it um, you know, it's not like flint and steel where you're trying to shoot a spark and cause something to ignite, for example, like the fluids. Uh, here, here's the basic idea of it. You're going to set up a pile of fuel you like. 
so charcoal, wood chips, even logs, they say, which I mean, I'm sure logs use that respectively. I mean, they're not, you're not going to sit there and light giant logs on fire with this. I doubt at least not quickly. You're going to touch them with the tip of the lighter and press the button. So you've got the little screen right there. There's nothing. I mean, it looks like a simple stainless steel screen. And uh, then it's got some some stuff in behind it, some crisscrossing stuff behind it, which I'm going to guess is going to be part of what causes the heat. Then it says, uh, well, step two, hit the spot, which is keep your loof lighter aimed towards the same spot for around 60 seconds. So, I mean, you're looking at a minute of sitting there aiming this at it, basically heating up whatever it is that you're trying to light. If you're looking at charcoal briquettes or wood chips or anything, um, you know, and you want to do this, uh, this is definitely beneficial to where you're not using uh, chemicals like, uh, like of course, uh, lighter fluid or any of those kinds of things. The worst stuff to use like gas. Um, you really don't want to use those. And you don't, if you're going to cook on it, especially if you're going to grill over top of it with an open open grill you really don't want to do that and put those uh, chemicals on there because those chemicals get into the food and you know one changes the flavor but two they're just plain out not good for you uh, then the next one uh, it says pull back a bit so it says when sparks or a glow appears pull back the loof lighter a few inches giving it space will help the heat to spread out and do its magic so essentially as far as I understand, and we are going to try this out, but um, from what I can tell, it's going to act, weirdly enough, the best, my best way of thinking of this is probably going to act similar to a heat gun. So if you sit there and you take a heat gun and, uh, you know, like a, like a hair dryer, it blows out warm air, but this thing is going to be pushing more heat. Now, I don't know that it's going to be blowing a bunch of air with it. Uh, I don't know exactly how that works. It's not saying right here, so that's why we need to check it out. All right, everybody. Well, we're outside, and I've, uh, as you can see, I've got this set up. Um, this is one of the other bespoke uh, products here that I had in the past. You may have seen. Now, as you can see, I can kind of set it there and kind of hang it, but what it's really for is to set kind of flat like that where uh, it holds the end of it up so that it's not touching anything and doesn't burn it. Uh, so it's just, just a platform to keep it from, you know, hurting anything, essentially. Now I have some uh, charcoal briquettes in there. We're going to go ahead and try this. Now I do not have anything else on these besides the briquettes themselves. And you can see there, I'm close to it, just like they say you're supposed to be... Um, like within an inch roughly of doing this and uh, you could see there there was the little bit where the end of it was starting to glow a little bit you can hear it's actually blowing the air you can see where things are starting to blow yep and there are some sparks getting started one of the briquettes is starting to ignite. And uh, this isn't taken too awful long. And it's nice in the way that I don't have to use something like uh, lighter fluid, which when lighter fluid burns, if it's still in there when you go to cook your food or anything like that, or even if you're just breathing it when it's burning, it's, it's just not good for you in general um you can get around that maybe by using something more like alcohol or something if you wanted to i suppose but uh using something like this uh you're not using open flame uh so there's not a full ignition you're causing it to burn without um causing flame uh now there you can see there is some flame once it gets hot enough we've got a few of these pieces lit up if you keep uh you keep going you pull it back and it kind of dies off a little bit but it does say that you you know once you get 
it started, you are supposed to pull back. The air is basically just to help keep it oxygenated and it keeps it kind of going. Kind of causes it to work like a blast furnace a little bit if uh, you're any f familiar with that at all. But Or a, uh, a bellows in, in like a forge where it's pumping the oxygen in. Um, but then of course this also provides the heat to get it going as well. So it has basically two ways of working. And uh, as you can see, this has gotten quite a few of these briquettes lit up and they're doing pretty nice. I want to take it and uh, let those burn a little bit, kind of move the other ones from the outside in, and uh, then you can get all of them kind of lit up. Uh, as you see, I'm just going to kind of hang it up there and uh, it's very cold so uh, that feels nice to kind of warm up but uh, i'll let these go ahead and burn down i don't have any use for them at the moment and i have quite a few you can see here i just used an extension cord but that is a nice long cord it's somewhere around 10 or 12 feet i think i might be exaggerating it may be closer to eight but uh, it is pretty pretty long so if you're relatively near a house and you have an outlet on the side of your house or something, uh, like maybe where your grill is at or something, that should work pretty nicely uh, in terms of you plug it in, put that, and when you're done, you just wrap it up, put it away, uh, maybe with your grilling equipment. Uh, now, one thing I want to say here, guys, if you, of course, want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. There is a link for this or to the Bespoke Post site where you can find this as well as any of their other products. Uh, I am not sponsored by Bespoke Post, but you can help me out uh, if you use that link and help yourself out too because you can get $20 off your first box. Uh, like I said, this is the ignition box. Uh, it just comes with this one unit. Other boxes come with multiple things. Uh, but take your pick. There's tons of things in there. Anything from camping to clothing to uh, culinary stuff. So it's, it's, it's all across the board. And they have now upgraded, if you guys haven't seen it or didn't know, uh, they have gone from being a primarily men's uh, related items uh, type, of, uh, type of company to now they do have uh, more women related items as well. Uh, so now you've got everything kind of across the board. Uh, the only thing maybe missing is uh, stuff for kids. Uh, but this is supposed to be a little bit higher scale, higher end stuff. So if you want to check them out, use that link down there. Get yourself 20 per, or 20 bucks off your first uh, box. Uh, the usual boxes go for about $50. Now, while you're down there, of course, don't forget to check out the social media. Uh, the social media will let you know all the different uh, videos that are out and whatnot, as well as if there's any contests or anything like that, which I am hoping to host here in the future. Uh, so kind of keep your eye on those to see what's coming up or what's going on here on World of Me. One other thing, on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, so you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. Uh, obviously, I bring you different products like this. I bring you things with the other series that I'm doing, uh, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the content, and uh, especially if you do, Maybe you can hit that uh, PayPal link and uh, help out the channel so that I can bring you more products uh, and give you more examples and show you more things uh, of what's going around in, well, my little piece of the world. All right, everybody. Well, my name's Cougar. This has been another episode from the Bespoke Post series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.